Thanks for joining us at DesignWorks TV. We wanted to show you some great new enhancements we just added to DesignWorks for SOLIDWORKS. The tools we just added were the, some primitives for spheres, cones, cylinders, and even loft. This is going to really enhance your productivity. So let's show you how these work. Select the probe sphere. You simply take the probe and collect data on a sphere. Once you collect a few points, pull away for compensation, builds a sphere. You also have tools for a cone. On this cone, you take and collect some data around the cone. Take a point to display the base plane, its comp, the top, its comp. All these features are put into the tree so they can be completely modified. It's very fast and efficient. There's also one for a cylinder. Come over here, take data around the cylinder. You can see how fast and efficient this is. We'll take a point for the base, compensation, height, compensation, just like the cone, build your cylinder. One of the most impressive ones is the new loft tool. Select the loft. You simply place the probe on the part. In this case, we're going to display the perimeter first. This tool is a huge enhancement. Then we're gonna do some sections across it. This is a very complex shape on top. You can stop for a second, look at it, see where you wanna fill in. Let's do some this way. You can actually even reload this data. So if you build this, it's not as accurate as you want. You can actually reload the data. So we'll move this around, take a look. See if there's areas, any areas you want to fill in. Again, this is really complex. Push the trigger. Now this data is built to probe center, so we're going to offset it. Then we're going to show you our new validation tools. So let's go up here to SolidWorks. We'll offset this surface. Half the diamond of the ball. We'll go ahead and hide this. Now we'll show you some of the great new validation tools and reports. So on the Design Works tab, you can go Feature to Probe. You can select them individually or Control A, get all of them. So let's go see how accurate our uh, primitives are. So here's the sphere. On the right side of the screen on digital readout, you can see we're holding tents. Off the, the cylinder. Again, tents. And here's the big one. Now, if we want to do a report, we can also output that as well. So let's go up here and drag this around. We'll pull the trigger. Let's just drag it back and forth. We'll take hundreds of points. And we can collect data on the other uh, primitives we built as well, just like this. But we figured you want to see how accurate this loft would be, because it's very complex. It's got surfaces going in multiple directions. So again, you can stop and start wherever you want. Take as many as you want. Push the trigger on the device. Almost an Excel. And you have the choice to merge these or put them all together. So we took over a thousand points. And here's our standard deviation. The mean was six tenths. The standard deviation was two, almost three, two and nine tenths. You can add your company name to this. These are fully customizable. And those are your data sheets. 
so you can see how fast and efficient DesignWorks 2018 for SolidWorks is. Stay tuned and join us next week.